And tonight we're learning more about the people accused of kidnapping a baby boy at gunpoint yesterday in Chambly. We just got the mug shots of the two suspects who were arrested in Carrollton hours after after the kidnapping. 11 Alive's Chanu Her has been following the story since it broke. More than 60 miles away from Chambly in Carrollton is where police arrested these two, Maynor Dario Valera Zuniga and Kristen Nicole Valera Zuniga. They're accused of kidnapping one-year-old Mateo Montefiore Barrera, holding his mother at gunpoint in front of their home, then ripping him from his stroller. Police say Mateo's mother did everything she could to fight off the one suspect, ripping his clothes, taking one of his shoes, and even grabbing his gun. This happened Saturday around noon and by the evening. <laughs> Officers found Mateo with the two people who were arrested, unharmed. We've now learned that the couple even changed the boy into a dress in an attempt to disguise him, but the baby was fortunately not harmed. Police still haven't released any information about the duo's intent or motive, but we do know that the child's mother says she didn't know them. We don't know who they are, don't know how they even came up to this area. Sarah Keppen is the executive director of local nonprofit The Hope Box, which helps rescue children in need. She says oftentimes cases like this don't have these endings. Often the children are not found as fast, so we're so grateful for the authorities. Keppen and her organization has worked with law enforcement around the state to help children, specializing in ages three and under. 75% of our most at-risk children are ages three and under. About 50% of those are just zero to one. So you're talking infants are the most at risk for abandoned, neglect, and abuse. Keppen says every kidnapping situation she's seen is different. If you see something, please say something. And both suspects are in the DeKalb County Jail tonight. Shambly police are now heading up this investigation, and they're expected to give more details about this case and a press conference set for tomorrow afternoon.